What's up, YouTube? It's Joe Catrapalia sitting on the couch looking at some real estate deals online. Actually, today, I'm again telling you I was wrong or I've changed my mind. Um, you know, if, if you watch my videos, I, I put out a couple videos on the Landa app already. Um, from my initial research, it seemed really promising. A lot of the properties on there seem pretty interesting. Um, if you recall, I hadn't made any investments yet because I had. Uh, tried to deposit some money, and this was um, I'm clicking on the wrong button. This is quite a while ago, September 25th. It actually just finally hit my account today. So, I mean, if you look at that, that's a long time. Um, I'm interacted with their customer service quite a few times since then. Uh, they have been somewhat responsive, um, and but you know, the, this just was a little bit of a red flag for me, right? Like, how how is getting money onto the platform? even uh so difficult and so i just want to i'll explain to you a couple, quite a few other things though that i've since discovered um but you can see on here i decided to take my money back off today uh hopefully that withdrawal goes through and i'll actually just get it back but let me let me tell you a little bit about why so you know last time i was you know on the video that i just had up here I was talking to you about the Ashley Way properties, how they seem like there, there might be an opportunity there. I had started digging into the properties a little bit. Um, you know, one of the things that I didn't do enough of is due diligence on the platform itself, like the platform risk. And I think that's the main risk with a lot of these sites is that, you know, that the company itself is having a problem. And I had done some initial research and didn't actually come up with as, uh, uh, some of the stuff that I've found since. But um, when I was looking, trying to look more into the Ashley Way properties, I actually came across this article uh, that specifically mentions it. This is a BizNow article. Um, it talks about those properties, but it also talks a lot about um, Landa in general. And if you haven't found this, you know, if you don't, um, if you haven't read this article, I, I'll put a link to it in the description to this. Um, I think that it is, uh, it's really informative. It explains a lot of the problems that they've been having at Landa. Uh, it explains how they've gone about funding these deals, um, which I didn't fully grasp. But so they're, um, you know, the company themselves is going out and buying a bunch of properties and they're using it with VC funds that are making the loans to them to buy them. And then they're coming and refinancing with regular lenders and um, borrowing money from, um, or taking, you know, getting the equity capital from, uh, you know, the investors on their site. And that's why you'll see some of these properties that will show a certain percentage sold. And this, you know, I don't know about this particular home, but what I have noticed is some of them, it doesn't change over time. There's not, you know, they, they never sold out. And so, uh, you know, they've lacked some equity capital on some of these deals. Um, you know, you can read this article yourself. I think it's, it's really interesting. It's, you know, they interviewed tenants. Tenants talked about how mismanaged the properties are. You know, that's nothing new. A lot of a lot of times tenants will be unhappy with their property manager. Um, but, you know, a lot of the things that they mentioned uh, seem seem to be um, pretty accurate. And then I got onto the discord and, you know, that Landa has. And there's a lot of people complaining about, you know, they haven't gotten their um, dividends. They haven't gotten any information. One of the really disturbing things was that uh, there was a foreclosure that was filed. Um, it didn't. It didn't appear that it went through, but that you know several of the properties were, you know, the, at least the foreclosure process started, and the investors in those properties didn't even know about it. Uh, and that is, you know, once you once you start reading a lot of the comments in the discords, um, looking on, I actually found a thread on Reddit that I don't have up now. Looking on uh, the Better Business Bureau site and just seeing all the different complaints. The main complaint that they have is that the info that they're getting on the site isn't good. Uh, you know, they're not, they're not getting clarity, you know, so they won't get a dividend or they'll get a lower dividend than they expected. Or, you know, like actually um, I contacted, when I was looking through these, you know, you remember I had my little spreadsheet where I was showing what the dividend was for every single property and on every one I checked, they were zero. Um, I reached out to support 
uh, and they, you know, their response to me was, oh, well, that's just because we haven't paid the dividend this month. And once we do, it'll show up. Um, and maybe that is true. Maybe it will show up. But the fact that I can't see what it was last month is concerning, right? Like, why, why wouldn't I be able to see, you know, what, what's going on historically? Um, I, you know, I, I think I already showed you this. Every single document that I try to open to do due diligence, let's see if they fixed it. This is something else I contacted support about. Yeah, they all give me this error. Um, so there's just, I think, I think the platform doesn't work as well as, as it needs to. I think it's a, you know, a sign that the company's having problems. I think all of these, there's, so there's six pages of complaints. And, you know, if you're, you're a big company, you're going to get a lot of better business bureau complaints. Um, but the way that they resolve them, if you read through, uh, I wasn't super satisfied with them. And so, like I said, I mean, I just decided I'm going to take my money off. Hopefully that works out. It's really too bad because like, you know, like I talked about, I, I like, um, I like that market a lot. I like the, the place that where they picked. I think it seemed like at least from my initial look that they've picked some properties that made sense. Uh, but, you know, it seems like, you know, from reading, you know, reading this article, reading uh, some of the stuff on um, the Discord and on um, Reddit, that the real problem is, is you had a bunch of tech guys that got together and built this, but none of them had any real estate experience. Um, and I think that that it has been a theme in a lot of these platforms that I've seen is that, you know, they think that the tech is going to be the hard part to figure out and that real estate is easy. And, you know, having been in this industry for a long time, real estate investing is simple, but it's not easy. There are not, you know, there's not a whole lot of complexity to what you have to do, but doing it repeatedly getting it right, dealing with tenants regularly, you know, doing the right thing every time getting, you know, collecting when you're supposed to fixing problems when you're supposed to all of that stuff um you know if you have one property it's easy to do when you have 400 properties uh it it gets it gets very difficult even though the individual tasks are all simple and so what i think has happened is they thought uh that the properties were going to be the easy part um you know once they had the tech worked out so you know i think it's i think it was in this article but it might be somewhere else might even be something that they put out, but you know, I think they've had like 200,000 people invest in this, you know, make investments in this site. I don't know how many, you know, and they do have hundreds of properties. Um, and, and you know, so that, that in itself is, is, is quite a feat, right? Like it's not easy to, to put something together like this, but you know, I think their selection process with properties maybe wasn't the greatest. Um, you know, when you have, some inexperienced acquisition people going out and buying 400 properties over you know four or five years um they're going to make some mistakes and i think maybe they made a lot more mistakes uh than they realized and then trying to manage some of these cheaper homes that looked good on the surface um became a real problem and so that that's what it looks to me like is happening now i don't have any more information than you do as far as like you know all of this is coming from stories that i've read online um people talking in the discord people talking you know the complaints that i've read through a whole bunch of these better business bureau campaign complaints i've looked at a lot of reddit threads um you know and so none of that is direct from the owners or the company itself uh, i did try to uh you know I, I used twitter to try to contact landa i didn't really get any response um you know, I tried to look up the owners and see what was going on, and it, it does just seem like they've kind of gone silent. That's the one of the big complaints in Discord, too, is that they've sort of just stopped responding to stuff, you know, the general issues. Uh, I will say their support does email me back every time I put something in here. Um, you know, every time I send them something, I get I do get a response. It's not always the response that I, you know, it's not always a... a perfect response but you know they they are responding and so there's it's not as if there's it's just you know a completely unmanned ship but it is 
it's definitely not something that I want to, you know, I, I want to put any money on. I, like I said earlier, you know, um, or what I've been doing on these sites is, I, you know, I'm trying to do, any, I'm trying to do small amounts of money and really experiment. But even though that's small, I don't want to just throw it away. Like, uh, you know, it's, it's still more than I'd want to just like waste completely. Um, and where so many people um, have complained about not getting their dividends, about uh, not having any clarity on what's going on. Um, you know, there's a lot of discussion on there about, you know, maybe they're going to go bankrupt. Now, who knows? That, that could certainly just be a rumor. Um, but it is, you know, I, I haven't found anything reassuring me other than, you know, my initial, the, you know, my initial impressions, which were, it looked like a good opportunity, but I, you know, I think I'm def I've definitely rethought that at this point. Um, like I showed you, I, I am just trying to take my money off. Hopefully that goes through and it's, it's not a problem. Um, some of the complaints that I saw were oh, the, on the. Better Business Bureau were specifically about not being able to get their money off. Um, I think that's extremely concerning. Most of them, though, appear to have bought something, um, bought a property that's in their IPO phase um, that never sold out. And so this is sort of interesting, right? Like if if they if this see like this shows up as fifty four percent sold, if they never sell out of this, uh, then then you can't sell your shares that you bought in this, which is um, I don't know. That's pretty concerning to me. I, you know, it, it's one thing. Uh, I I liked this for the trading ability. I was looking at the ones that you could trade. Uh, you know, I, so I I don't think I would have bought any of those anyway. But um, I don't know. Maybe it's something that I'll revisit if they if they get some better news. Um, so so far, you know, just to recap, what the the ones that I. Uh, so I reject, I'm not going to invest on this one. Um, I decided against doing arrived homes. I think the arrived is much more legitimate, at least from what I've seen than, than Landa, as far as, um, you know, it seems like they are actually, you know, they're not a scam. They seem to be producing results, but they are not, uh, you know, it, it seems hard to believe you're going to make any money with the amount of fees that they have on that. Um, unfortunately, I think, you know, Atlanta does have a decent amount of fees, but I thought it was a little bit more, um, it looked like we had better opportunities here, but you know, if, if I can't, if I'm worried about even just being able to, you know, take money out, uh, when it's time to, you know, that, that that's not something I want to invest in. And, and I, so I think it's easy to just recommend, you know, not to recommend this site to people. Um, you know, obviously if you, if you have money and you want to risk it, you know, that's on you, uh, so far more than anything, I've enjoyed ground floor. Um, you know, I think that that to me seems like one of the best opportunities. And I just put out, you know, a video this morning about how I had misunderstood one of the features. Um, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm new to all of these. Um, and I'm just trying to share my real estate perspective as much as i can but not necessarily i'm certainly not an expert on any of these platforms um but i think landa is a good example of uh you know this industry it is lacking in a real estate lit real estate professionals i think they have a lot of you know you get you have a lot of tech knowledge being pointed at at this industry and not very many um real estate you know people with a, a deep experience in real estate investing. And so that's why, you know, in general, what I hope to share. Um, so, so far, the only one where I'm direct, you know, investing on the equity side, like I said, ground floors on the debt side um, is Lofty. You know, I've shared a lot of videos about Lofty. Um, there certainly are drawbacks, but I can already see the potential to make money on there. Now, um, I think there are still risks. I mean, there's definitely still plenty of risk involved. Uh, but I, you know, you have this platform risk, but it's a little bit different because you can trade your tokens in Lofty outside of the platform itself. So if they ever disappeared completely, um, it it seems like there still is a mechanism to sort of accumulate the ownership of the outstanding shares, which I don't know that there would be um, any easy way to do that. with Landa, um, I'm not sure. So in, in any case, uh, I'm gonna stop.
stop really doing any updates about Lambda unless something changes and I decide to put money on. Um, I found another company called Arc7 uh, that I just really came across it a few days ago. I've been doing some research. Um, it seems pretty similar to Lambda or Arrived. Um, there are, uh, you know, good and bad things I've found out so far. It does seem like they might have some hidden fees that are going to be hard to overcome, but I'm going to get I'm going to do a, a detailed video of that um, once I've once I've got dug into it a little bit more. Um, yeah, it's a little disappointing, you know. I thought that there would be, uh, I thought we were further along than this, but one one of the interesting things is a, a lot of the companies that started further back in time have just decided that they're, you know, that they're just going to be selling REITs instead of, you know, doing true, you know, fractional ownership. And, um, you know, I mean, it's, a, it's an option, but it's, it's not really what I'm looking for. And I think that a lot of people want to have direct ownership in specific properties and be able to pick those properties and not be buying, you know, this whole pool. Um, you know, whether or not that desire is, is a good thing or not, I'm not sure, but I, I know it's out there. And so hopefully, you know, one of these apps will really figure it out um, in a way where it's profitable for them and they can stay in business and, and you know, not, uh, not be broken, which seems to be the case here, but also, um, you know, where it's profitable for the people investing as well. And so, uh, you know, I, I know, this is an industry that's still in its infancy and I'm, I'm hoping to see it, it, you know, a lot of these things get worked out. Um, I'm definitely along for the ride. Like I said, I'm not putting a ton of money into these platforms, but you know, enough that it, it, it means, uh, you know, that I want to see what the, I'm going to take it seriously, right? Like I said, like I'm pulling my money back out of this. I think a lot of people you see put a couple hundred bucks on here and play with it and post their reviews. And I think that that, if that's a lot of money to you, that's one thing, right? But if you're just doing it, uh, you know, just to create some content, you don't really care if you lose that, you know, because you're just buying $5 shares. Um, I, I don't think that that's really so helpful. Um, so I am trying to put a, a, enough in that it means something, but not so much that it's going to hurt me if I lose it. But, um, you know, this is an example of it just really seems like too big of a risk for me. Uh, and I'm not going to do it. So, you know, it's unfortunate that it took me to this point to realize it. I actually think it really helped me that it took them forever to take my money. You know, if the, if it had, if it had gone through right away like it should have, um, I might have already bought some stuff before coming across that article and finding, a, you know, getting on the Discord and really reading a lot of the complaints from people. Um, yeah, so in any, in any case, I think that it's a good example that we should be doing a little bit more due diligence on the platforms before starting to invest uh and so i'm going to try to do that a little bit more going forward um although i do you know i, I am really committed to investing in some of these you know some of these sites if i can find ones that i'm happy with um if that just means that i'm going to be more active on lofty and ground floor i mean that's fine uh you know i think that there's like i said i think both of those have already shown that there's some potential to make money um, and both have risks that I'm comfortable with, you know, different to different degrees. Um, and I'm sure like every day there's, there's new ideas out there and, you know, some of the platforms that exist, I think might get better. Uh, you know, I think I had mentioned BrickSave at one point there, somebody I actually knows someone on their acquisitions team. And I think they're super professional in the way they go about looking for properties. Uh, I just wasn't very excited about their current offerings and their limit, you know, the limited number of offerings, but I think those could grow. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a whole, you know, there's a whole bunch of other opportunities I'm sure that I haven't even heard of, and I'm just going to have to keep looking and find them. If you do know of other, other sites where I can buy fractional investments in real estate, uh, please let me know. Um, until then, until next time, I'm going to just keep making mistakes so that you don't have to.